the second thing that he said to him is not only you're wicked he said you are slothful now slothful is is a very interesting word many people think it means laziness it's not wickedness is when you do the wrong thing laziness is when you don't do the right thing slothfulness in greek actually means carelessness it's when you do the right thing and you have no passion no care you're just simply lethargic just little just apathy complacency lukewarmness you're just literally a dead me just simply going through the motion without no emotions whatsoever he's just doing it just to do it he just simply put it in the ground lethargic slothful it's not when you're doing something wrong it's when you're doing something right but you just don't do it with the right attitude a new attitude can bring something so different attitude slothfulness is something you can't you can't point on a, on a paper slothfulness you can't judge that in a courtroom like a theft murder or lying attitude and slothfulness is in the atmosphere it's invisible just like perfume you can't see perfume you can sense perfume so is attitude you cannot see attitude that's why when somebody has an attitude and you try to correct them you can't really correct them you, you try to find examples but they're so justifiable on their end and you just hit but you you just like a smell if somebody farted you you can't point your finger to anything but you just it smells and it's, it's just it smells really bad do you remember when we brought a pig in our church long time ago we brought a pig in our church and i did not read enough to know how smelly pigs were and so what I did is that we took, we took this tiny pig, didn't have enough life in her to get so dirty and so smelly. But for the sake of the pig, we knew that they were smelly. We did not know how smelly they were. I took soap and I like took the soap that you know that you wash things with like in the toilet, so you spray. And I, I pushed it on, on the pig and I took the, the water and I just literally just, just, I mean, gave that good shower, the pig so that because we had to use it for illustration here at the church we brought it and put it right there 10 minutes when this pig was here almost everybody in the sanctuary had to go like this small pig a smaller than any sunday school child than we have in our church and in 10 minutes destroyed the atmosphere so good that every single person could not be at ease with themselves and pig did nothing it was just here that's how attitude it stinks everybody can smell it except you and when we have enough pigs in the church we have a pig church when a new person walks in whew, have you walked into a gathering with the nose and you said I will never walk into this place before these people are cute don't get me wrong they dress nice they sing good but they stink why the atmosphere stinks nobody cares about anything people on the back are texting nobody cares the pastor's preaching people walking out back and forth people are singing and other people are having their their finger in their nose why because carelessness and when you have carelessness it's the same thing as you have forgive me bunch of pigs good people everything is fine just a bad atmosphere even Jesus doesn't stay in those kind of places miracles don't stay in those kind of places why because God is attracted by aroma read in the book of Genesis when Noah offered sacrifice and the Bible says when God smelled you think God does not like a good smell he does God smelled the Bible says we are fragrance of Christ unto God God sees that you don't look like Jesus but you smell like Jesus and he says come God wants to come into a place where there is an atmosphere but an atmosphere is built with every person contributed with the right attitude and so the first one is wickedness which is sin the second one is weakness which is slothfulness it's an attitude this one is an action it's the bad things we do and many times in the youth groups don't do bad don't have sex don't have this don't do don't drink don't smoke and then we have this lethargic pathetic full of apathy complacency people it look like they're drugged up in church and these are the people who have little from God and they make nothing out of it 
we receive little because we have sin but we don't make much out of what we have because attitude is down and I know we blame our attitude on our circumstances the flat tire I know because your boss is cranky it didn't make the right coffee yes because the shoes did not come on time because of this and that but in reality you're responsible for your attitude your attitude is like a flat tire you cannot go far without it you need to change it your attitude will determine your altitude in life your attitude is extremely extremely important you can have a new life with the same job but you can never have a new life with the same attitude you can have a new marriage with the same spouse but you can never have the new marriage with the same attitude you can have a new almost anything you can have a new church experience with the same pastor I know some of you think that's not possible it is if you come with a new attitude you can have a new worship experience with the same worship team but it's not possible to have a new worship experience with the same attitude there must be an attitude that needs to be changed and so many people when they come and they get nothing out of a service nothing out of a church they walk out and say I need a new church do you buy a new home when the light bulb goes off in your house do you of course you don't you're smarter than that you change a light bulb when it's dark when you come to church I'm not receiving anything maybe it's time to change your attitude maybe it's time you change your attitude change your approach come with a notebook and a bible and a pen you will see how much God will speak to you during the sermon instead of Facebook Instagram or Twitter because a new attitude will raise your altitude in life